Hello, hello, one and all, and welcome, welcome to the very last episode of The Forgotten City. We have three out of four endings. The third one, I think, is going to be quite simple, quite straightforward. We've worked out exactly what it is, what needs to happen. We need to get everyone out via the aqueduct. The only thing is... Is it going to be as simple as I think it is, or is this going to be another Billism? The only way to find out is to jump in and get this done. Now, thanks very much to Dooley. When we got Galerius instated as the magistrate, Dooley gave us the key to the upper cistern. Now, having broken in from the lower cistern and worked our way up, we now know that is where the current magistrate's daughter is being held. So I think what we need to do is go see her before me and her escaped on our own. If we convince her, we need to take everyone else in the settlement let's call it the settlement again if we convince her we need to take everyone else in the settlement and restart time i think we've got this i think we've got this the only problem is her dad comes and last time he got killed which uh, did not end quite well oh i have pressed unlock and it's loading oh beautiful oh god no Okay, game's broken. There's a few minor, you know, a few minor rough edges that needed working on, I think. But overall, I do love the game. I've really enjoyed it. That's why we're 100%ing it. Why? It's only unlocked one of the doors. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. There we go. There she is. Because last time we escaped out of there. Because she set fire to her dad and it's like, oh, that's not going to end well. Ha! I always forget the daughter's name. Who are you? Did he send you? I am me. And you know you're here. You have to help I should pay more attention to people's names, but it's the names I always forget. IRL and in games, even when streaming, names just whoop straight over the top of my head. I'm Centilla. There we go, Centilla. I knew it started with an S. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. There won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? No, we need to save everyone. What if I round everyone up so they're ready to escape once the golden rule is broken? Did you hear that? He's here. Quick. You have to let me go. It's now or never. Yeah, I'm sorry, but if I let you go, everyone else is going to die. So this is the ending we've already had, helping her escape. We now need the ending where we refuse to help, but manage to save everyone. What? No. You can't just leave me here. How can you be so heartless? It's too dangerous. Let me see if I can persuade Sentius to let us go. That's going to be a no because he threatens to kill us. Not heartless, just rational. Our escape isn't worth the lives of everyone here. I agree with that. And the other ones, I changed my mind. That's the one I went for last time, so we're going to ignore that. I hate you. I spit on you. I hope Dis drags you to Tartarus. I don't. Right, we need to get out of here. Right, the only thing is, we've now got to get time to reset. And the only way I can think of doing that is shooting someone. Oh, <gasps> I've got an idea. We shoot Sentius and see if we can grab the key. But then we know he remembers every time it loops, so he might know what we're up to then.
Uh, I need somebody to, um, I need somebody, somebody has to go, I'm sorry lads, you've always been a bit of a dick to me. There we go! And many shall suffer. For the sins of the one. Ah! Duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave. In theory, if I shoot Sentius before he gets to the temple, he'll never escape, but also will never get summoned. Ah, oh, that'll be a paradox. Right, go, go. Sentius, you're dragging your feet, mate. Ah, oh, Sentius, come on. How many times have we done this? You're meant to be quicker than I. Oh my god, run! Sentius. Sentius. Thank you, Sentius. Love you. Bye. Okay, normally Sentius beats me there. The only problem is this time the archers beat both of us there. So, uh, uh oh. This might actually be like a 10 minute long episode. I've just realized because if we go see Galerius now, we, we might have just cracked this wide open unless I've ballsed it up. The golden rule is going to be broken soon. I need you to quietly get everyone except Sentius ready to run into the upper cistern when the ground starts to rumble. What? That's a big ask. Do it. Somebody Do it. Me, you're not kidding. All right, I'm going to stick my neck out and believe you. But I doubt I'll be able to gather more than a handful of people. Ah. Should I? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Should I maybe have had him asked him to do... Ah, oh, let's reload. What I'm thinking is I maybe should have asked him to go save everyone's life, get them out of, like, um, indenture and stuff like that, then ask him to round everyone up, because then we'd get everyone together. The way I've just done it, he's probably going to leave everyone else and they'll just die, I think. I'm not too sure. We're going to reload and find out. If he says, oh, we can get more people together, we know it worked. If he says we're only going to get a few people together again, then we know we were right the first time. I'm just kind of doubting myself now to try and get this, um, the final ending. Because we've got one where we escape by killing Sentius and creating a paradox. One where we escape with the daughter. The one where we get the cannon ending. And now we've got this one where we've tried to escape with as many people as possible. Right, I've got a minor problem here. Galerius has done all of his jobs, but he won't let me get him to round people up. He won't round people up, there's no option. Very impressive. And strange too, since that device you use is exactly the same as one I've been working on for weeks. Add stole it. Oh, of course. It's because I already gave it to you in a previous time loop, isn't it? Anyway, I'm yes. Ask, but is there any chance you'd be willing to do me a favor? Sure. Well, I've been trying to get this rare flower from the rock spire in the middle of the lake. It's oh. Time, so I hung a rope over the lake and made this pulley device, only I, uh, couldn't quite summon the nerve. We need to drop off and do it. You could use the device again and try to get that flower for me. We have never been asked to do this before. There's no rush, just whenever you get a chance. All right, see you around. Well, I mean, to be fair, I'm going to have the game, the main stories finished up once you've helped me. So I think my best bet is doing this first, my friend. <laughs> no, we're going to need to go to the top and drop down. So we're going to need to find a way to time it 
to drop down onto the spire of rock. Ulpius, thank you very much, but I do not trust any of you. No! Budge. Okay, that was way too late. We've got quite a uh, forward motion going on. So we need to drop quite quickly. I thought I was going to lose like a huge amount of health then. That never even dropped. I was like hitting B and I just like skimmed right past it. Right, we'll be back in a minute when I've actually managed to hit the rock. Oh, I'm there. I'm on. I'm on. I've got it. Yes. I hope it was just the one he wanted because I've thrown myself off the rock. I'm so happy. Galerius, I've done a good thing. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? Got your flower. Brilliant. You did it. Well done. This is going to make her so happy. Equitia, I mean. Now I just have to figure out how to give it to her. Discreetly. What I want to do is walk up to her, give her the flower, and confess I've been madly in love with her since the moment we met. But on the other hand, I can't shake the feeling that the consequences could be terrible. I don't think it's going to break the golden rule. You mean, aside from her execution? You see, Equitia is a Vestal Priestess, meaning she's taken a vow of chastity, the breaking of which would be an extremely serious affront to the gods and a capital offence. I've met Pluto. He's not going to give a crap. It could lead to her execution. Unchaste Vestals get buried alive. Oh, and I'd get flogged to death for good measure. Oh. At the same time, she's just so kind and graceful. And I feel so much love for her that if I don't tell her, it'll burn a hole in my chest. I don't know what to do. What do you think? What would you do? Oh, God. Uh... Da I think you should tell her how you feel, consequences be damned. I think you can admire her discreetly from afar. If you really love her, you need to get over her. I'm no relationship counsellor, figure it out on your own. I'm going to say consequences be damned. I'm I'm a bit of a romantic, so I'm going to say consequences be damned. you say that out loud, I hear how crazy it is. I think maybe I need to be a bit more cautious. Okay, he's going to ignore me. He's a go-between. Someone who can tell her how I feel and find out how she feels without risking I'll do it. life. What do you say? Do you think you could help me one more time? Yeah, go on. I'll do it. Wonderful. Now, all I need you to do is give her the flower and tell her it's from a secret admirer. Tell her I'll keep my distance and that I just want her to know that she's loved. Oh. Thank you. Come back as quick as you can and tell me what she says. I thought this would be as simple as getting the fourth ending and we'd be done. But no, now we're doing like a Casanova kind of like hooking people up and romancing. And it's it's corny, but it's cool. Hello. Hello. and may Vesta watch over you. I am Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? I have a flower for you. Oh, how lovely. It just happens to be my favourite, too. Who do I have to thank for this? Yes. I see. So, it's from Galerius. Then. Oh, she knows! Of course I do. I think everyone in the city knows. Oh, is a wonderful human being and my favorite person in the world. But he is the least subtle secret admirer you <laughs> could imagine. The way he looks at me with those puppy dog eyes. Plus, 
He's been trying for weeks to get his hands on this flower. He went to so much effort, too. Suspending that rope above the lake, inventing that pulley device all on his own. He'd just stand there each morning, looking at the flower, trying to summon the courage to seize it. Oh, my heart. Tell that adorable oaf that my Vestal's vow of chastity ends once I turn 36. Oh! So he'll never make it out of here, and he doesn't mind waiting a few years. Then, tell him I love him too. Oh! I love that! I hope so. Oh, we should tell her we got into the Great Temple. You did? I'm impressed. What did you find in there? Uh, Pluto. He's a bit of a dick. Wait, what? Sumerian? As in east of the Euphrates, where Babylon is. Let me see if I understand you. Our ancestors built over the Greeks' temple, copied their religion, and changed their god's name from Hades to Pluto. But the yeah. Greeks had done much the same thing to the Egyptians, and the Egyptians had done the same things to the Sumerians before them. If yeah. that's true, then I've spent my whole life serving a goddess who may wear oh. a copy of a copy of a copy. It's no uh -oh. wonder I never felt like my prayers to Vesta were answered. All that time. Who was I even talking to? Did I even know her name? I see. That is a lot to take in. I think I would like to... Oh, I hope we haven't crushed her hopes and dreams. I mean, I, I thought it'd be nice to tell her, but I hope I haven't crushed her hopes and dreams. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? I have a message. She loves you. Thanks. What did she say? Venus, that is the best news I've ever heard in my life. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea how happy you've made me. I wish there was something I could do to thank you properly, but... I don't have much I don't offer. need a reward. All I can do is tell you where there's a secret stash of coins you might be interested in. Use photo mode. What? We haven't used photo mode. What? In the <laughs> tunnel near the stairs, there's a little doorway set into the rock. Inside, if you look carefully, you can see a chest. Unfortunately, one of those golden huntress statues is blocking the path, and I'm not game to move it. If you can figure out how to get past it, I reckon there might be a small fortune waiting for you. I hope that helps in some way. Oh, I love you. The only All thing right, is... Hope you find a way to break that cycle you're in. We don't need him to help everyone to get him to round people up. Because if we get him to help everyone, we don't have the option to get him to then round them up. So, oh, God... How many people are we actually going to save if he doesn't round everyone up? Don't believe a word they tell you. Small fortune, okay. Oh, I need to break the law again. I'm really sorry, who wants shooting? Oh, the barmaid's not a very nice person. shall suffer for the sins of the one. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh, I'm trapped inside. No. Absolutely got it. I got him, but I couldn't get out. We got the money! Woohoo! Run, run, run! Oh my god, we got the money, we got the money! It's in and out, Jobby! In and out, Jobby! And leg it! In and out, and leg it! Okay, we're going, we're going! Sentius is nowhere to be seen yet again! Oh my god, Sentius, hurry up! Come on, bank robbery! Bank robbery, come on! We you might get away portal per, per ah, it's coming my portal uh, I was panicking then because I saw the statue running up the stairs I'm like what the hell is he he's a portal -er. 
Right, now, let's stop messing about and get Galerius, now we've found him love, to uh, round everyone up and we'll get this, we'll get this ending done. Oh my god, I started getting really kind of like panicked when that statue appeared. Ah, here we go, here we go, we've got that's, it. That's a big ask, but something tells me you're not kidding. All right, I'm gonna stick my neck out and believe you, but I doubt I'll be able to gather more than a handful of people. Yeah, so that's it. His only voice line is he doubts he'll get more than a handful of people, which is a shame because we have the ability to save everyone. But if we go into that, we then lose the option to round everyone up, which is really backwards in my opinion. Like, you'd think it'd let us do both, but unfortunately not. So what we'll do now is we'll go see, uh, is it Centilla? I think it was Centilla. Because again, I'm useless with names. Wait for Centius to come, and then we should be good to get everyone to escape. Right, here we go. I've told Galerius to lead everyone here when the golden rule is broken, so they can escape too. The golden rule being broken is when she kills her father. How did you know? Wait, did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. Oh, hello. Me v you. Fist fight. With Centilla. Centius, Where you're not very nice. You're human garbage, you know that. <laughs> so this is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. It's a shame, really. If you'd just done what you were supposed to, you'd you would have killed yourself. Oh, you the, the first time just we had like this in, I think it was like, now. when we had the second ending, so like episode two. Uh, oh my God. It annoyed me so much, the fact this guy was just so full of himself. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. How many extra days did you give me? Just the nine? Oh, Over come on, don't call me out like that. It was three last time we saw him. Actually, I saw too bad. Case, there's yeah. no escape for you except the path that Al took. The path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. Better to end it all now than find out what awaits you beyond that portal. So, you discovered my secret. So what? what oh, you here we go. Centilla says hi. Of course. There's no way you could have succeeded. Every soul who has ever found themselves here has broken the golden rule eventually. It is well, I did it willingly because I'm a bit of a rogue. Always sin sooner or later. Any idiot could tell. And I like shiny things. I might see tragedy. I saw opportunity. Kill him! You, Kill him! Kill him! I found a way to cheat death. Bye bye. You are going to die a painful death, sir. Do you really think you can take on a Decurion with that flimsy little bird? Well, yeah, I'll turn you to gold, but I think she's going to set you on fire if I remember rightly. Uh oh. Who? Centilla? Where are you? Yeah. I'm right I love this. I love this. Come on. Yes! Of all the ways to go, and because he's in so much metal and cloth. It's just going to keep burning and burning. Suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, we have to go. The other should be right behind us. Hey, what's happening to you? We should get everyone out. It's so bright. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. In theory, if I've done it right, this should be our fourth ending. Hey, Al! Oh, I can't move. I was going to run up and give him a hug. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. Right. Let's see if he's got any new dialogue. Well, here I am. I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. Really? That's strange. Oh. An old tablet I found here. 
Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina. Freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. They should have escaped. Oh, there we go. There we go. To go. Escape, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Oh, but why didn't it save everybody? Why wouldn't it let us save everybody? I didn't for one moment think it was, but the way you say that makes me wonder. I mean, how many people with that name could there be in this place? I don't understand how you could have been here 2,000 years ago. Uh, I'm sorry, come again? Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've As I said last time, time it's because your handwriting, circle. mate. It's your handwriting. Oh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. I, uh, I'm not following. So you're saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. I guess you saved my life then, as well as helping a bunch of others to escape. That's a lot to take in. Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Santilla used, if we can find it. Left-hand side. Left-hand side, good sir. And hopefully, we might have a bit of a um, second changed ending with Charon. Because before, we had a tablet from Centilla thanking us for helping her escape, even though she didn't know who we were or what was happening. We might get another bit of a change with the Charon interaction. I see no point in keeping you here. But Every time there's like a pop in that line. To yourself. Look, here comes Al now. Al, but so distraction good. aside, we let's see what changes. Kind of lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of, well... My new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Oh, did you find a tablet? How could you... Oh my what? god. She Mind blown. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for you to read it. Here, take a look. What is that weird little tat 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 noise? Or if you'll ever read this. But Octavia, Lucretia, Voracious, Equitia, and I will never forget you or what you did for us. It pains us that so many of our dear friends were not so fortunate, including Olpius and Galerius, who heroically tried to rescue Dooley, but never made it back. But there is no point dwelling on what might have been. All we can do is take this gift you've given us and try to show others the same compassion you showed us. We promise you that saving our lives was not for nothing. Centilla et al. Oh, I'm a bit upset Galerius died though, but Dooley was like his best friend. Like you meant a lot to her. I'd love to hear your story, but first, you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization sounds good to me and you are you ready to go home aye captain that's it we've got all four endings Yeah, we've got all four endings now. That is every single one of the endings accomplished, smashed, and I do. I really, really love the game. I've got to start off with the negatives. The audio, especially on the Xbox One, 
is really dodgy. There's a few graphics glitches. Some of the load points are really annoying. Like there's a load point coming out of Pluto's temple where on one of the escapes, you can just get shot in the back if you time it wrong. You get shot at, you go into the loading cycle. As soon as you come out, you get hit. That was really frustrating and annoying. But overall, to say this started out as a mod for Skyrim, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I like the character development. I love Galarius. I love Dooley, even though he did try and get us killed by Nick in some at the moment. We got him freed. But yeah, especially with this being on Game Pass for PC and console at the moment, if you've got Xbox Game Pass, definitely give it a go. All in all, though, yeah, I'd give this, ooh, probably about an 8. An 8 out of 10. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 on uh, the en enjoyability scale. But I love stuff like this. And I've really felt like each time I've done a little episode, I've had to stop myself wanting to play more. Because there's been so much more to discover, to see, to do. And just keep going. We would have ended up with like 5 hour episodes, which I wouldn't be opposed to. But watching probably would be a bit of a pain. But yeah, I like it. I like it. And uh, I think once we've got Gears Tactics wrapped up as well, because Gears Tactics we've got on the go at the moment, we're definitely going to find something else with like a really good story. I know there's been a lot of talk about um, Splinter Cell and Tomb Raider at the moment. With Tomb Raider coming out on a brand new graphics engine for like a brand new Tomb Raider, so we might replay the Tomb Raider trilogy. But for now, for now, I would like to thank you for joining me on this journey. I would like to thank you very much for your time and I hope you've enjoyed watching. But no matter what you decide to do now, I hope you have a bloody good day, a good time gaming. And for now, I have been Phil, aka Philodoxical. You have been awesome and I'll see you all later. Bye! Hello, hello one and all and welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Phil, aka Philodoxical, and I hail from the UK. I'm a content creator, streamer, and all-round self-proclaimed multiplayer badass. Or, as the saying goes, a jack of all trades, but master of none. As you might be able to tell, I'm a variety gamer who loves everything from FPSs to RPGs, top-down tacticals to puzzlers. With a can-do attitude and out-of-the-box creative thinking, I'm always up for challenging myself and pushing boundaries. Whether you are looking for playthroughs, reviews, the latest for honor executions, or hints and tips, I'm sure I'll have something that might pique your interest. And if that has not hooked you yet, did I mention I'm an expert in diplomatic negotiations? Dealing with stressful situations. Duh. Oh! Oh, God! Oh! 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 Oh my God! Holy shit! I think I just crapped myself. <laughs> and I'm always up for fundraising for fantastic causes. If you get a chance, check out a video or drop a follow to be kept up to date with our latest adventures. But now though, no matter what you decide to do, have a fantastic rest of your day and happy gaming.